we have a 2006 GMC Yukon. This happens to be a Denali version. And what we're doing tonight, about a week ago, I had to replace the blower motor for the air conditioning and the heat. It's been squealing for a while, and uh, I went through the car wash, and all of a sudden it stopped working all together. So, I figured it just finally seized up because it had been squeaking for a while. Well, when I went and replaced it and took it down, I had a bunch of water come down with it. So, did a little searching around, and you can find on YouTube, there's another video showing what the problem is. Underneath here, the cowl, there's a panel, we'll get a video of that later, that apparently leaks over time. And that's right above where the uh, blower housing is down inside the truck. So we need to remove the cowl to get to that, to clean it up and to reseal it. Well, I tried to do this last weekend and this cowl comes off pretty simple. There's a plastic cap that's on either end. There's a couple of torque screws. Now you see mine's actually broken. That was broken before this repair. Um, it's a couple of torque screws. There's one body pin in the middle. And a couple of clips on the inside. I'm missing one of them. The rest of them are there. But you also have to remove the windshield wipers. And that's where the challenge came in. They would not budge. They would not come off. They were corroded on there. Went and borrowed the neighbor's battery puller tool. And unfortunately, his was kind of worn. And it couldn't get a good enough grip underneath there. So I soaked them down with some uh, PB Blaster. We've been driving for about a week. Got out here with my new pulling tool. You can find this on a popular uh, popular website you buy stuff on. Uh, it was like 13 bucks. It's nice because it'll lock the jaw around the wiper arm, which is the problem. I could not keep this underneath the wiper arm. This one's got a nice, well, even a little taper up to it. It really squeezes in and pulls. And got the first one off, finally. It took some doing. So we're going to uh, video the second one coming off here. First thing you need to do is to get the cap off of the nut. It is a 13 millimeter socket that you need for that nut. You also need to pull the squirter hose here. Put this nut down. There's the cap, put the nut down. And just gently work this around and it'll pop out of this little rubber feed point. And there it is. Very simple. This is the other body pin you gotta pull. We'll get that after we get the wiper out of the way. So, first thing we wanna do is grab our 13. Take this nut off. Now, these were not at all corroded. They were uh, nice and clean, didn't have to do anything really get them loose so that's not the problem the problem is where it sits on the post good idea make sure you have a safe place to put the nut the magnetic tray holds the nut throw the cap in there too keep it away from the truck so that you don't accidentally bump it over now we're going to take our puller tool i might have to put the camera off to the side for a second Loosen this thing up. There you go. And you can see here, you really need to get this underneath. I'm having a hard time focusing here. There we go. Get those arms underneath the wiper arm so it can put all the pulling force on it. I said, you gotta pay attention to these pulling tools. Let me show you the other one that I used. I actually have it sitting here still. So this is the previous one, and you can see it doesn't really have that good way to get underneath there. It was just getting the tips underneath there. It was just sliding off. So this style is no good. You need to get the ones with the little arms like I had showed you over at the truck. Now we just turn. Extend it where I'm going to do comfortably 
with my hand. So I just have a wrench here. I want to gently put pressure on this. I saw some people make comments they were they bent their arms. So alternate it around, move it around a little bit. Try not to bend it. It wouldn't be a big deal of fashion something else in there, but you get a lot of force on there. It's hanging in, so that's good. All of a sudden we'll get a pop out of it. That's what happened on the last side. What I didn't want to do is break anything like the windshield or anything else around it. So that's why I took the extra couple days, ordered the right puller tool. They sell puller tools at the big part stores that are a different style, like a looks like a U or a C. And look at that. While we're talking. Enough pressure, it came loose. Anyways, I see a lot of reviews, that those break the first time you try to use them. So I was willing to wait a couple days to get this part. And you can see there, our studs are already down in there. There's tension on this, there you go. And you can see how corroded that gets. So we're gonna clean that up and we're gonna put some anti-seize on there when we put this back on. So. That's what you gotta do to get the wipers off. Enjoy. So, uh, show you. Got it loose. Uh, without disconnecting, there's lines for the wipers underneath there and a ground wire that goes up to the hood. You don't need to disconnect those. You got enough play to get this out. Um, I did end up breaking the top of the uh, body pin here, but I have replacements so we can throw a new one in there. It's not a big deal. Work this thing out. Actually, be easier to push it through at this point. There it goes. So that's the uh, the head to this is over in the garbage now. It just popped right off when I went to pull it. But that's a pretty standard pin to throw in there. Um, I'm not sure what this gasketing would do around here. It doesn't even look like it's completely all the way around unless it's on the back side. And I don't feel it there. This is the cover in question. You can see it's, it looks like it's supposed to be sealed from the factory, but obviously we're getting water in here. You can see that the seal here is kind of gone. My guess is it probably come leaks from the top too. So we're gonna we're gonna pop that off of there and we are gonna reseal that down. Um, I could just put a bead of silicone around it I suppose clean it up. There's supposedly some clips that hold this down in there. It's solid on there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna caulk this I'm gonna throw a beater on there, some clear 100% silicone. We'll clean it first. Oh, you can see right here. Look at it. It's part of the part of the seal coming out right there. So, but since a lot of that's in there and it's tight, some of it's got to be good. It looks like there might be a hole in the top. It's a plastic. It's not metal. It looks like a mold hole right here. Not mold, like mold, but like from when they formed it. So we're gonna clean that up. I think we're just gonna clock it. We're not gonna try and take it apart anymore. And uh, hopefully that gets it done. So I cleaned it and I wanted to see why this was open next to it. You can actually see, I can actually feel the bottom side of that cap in there. So this is like your, your intake, right? Your air is supposed to come in there. Um, obviously if water, and it looks like there's a gutter system. See there's like this this bead that goes down there so if water gets in um, it's supposed to probably channel off that way I'm gonna guess that, that cap is leaking along the top and it's allowing it to get down into where that intake is at um, so this piece of gasket which is not broken is just come loose I'm gonna restick that down too because I have a feeling that's supposed to divert water a little bit away from there too so it's not so much coming in uh, just Looking at how this is done, it almost looks like it's factory this way. Uh, somebody can probably chime in in the comments and mention if that's true or not. But I'm going to still seal that down, and then I'm going to uh, stick this down. Hopefully, we'll be okay. What I did to clean it: um, little Windex, clean towel, and then I went over with a uh, uh, Scotch Brite around the edge. 
took the scotch brite and got in there around the cracks and crevices just to rough it up a little bit but it not take the clear coat or anything off of the truck just so I get a good bond with the uh, silicone um, so we'll see how that uh, how that goes <laughs> 